Searching for a PBM these days can be rough. I've contacted all the local stations just to be told they've been sent to recyclers or to surplus. It can really feel like you're chasing a unicorn, but every once in a while you get lucky. Sure, you could spend five to eight hundred on eBay and worry about shipping and not know what you're gonna open up when you get that box. I've had my eye out for a year or two on the normal places like Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, OfferUp, and nothing really local or no good deals until recently I noticed these Ikigamis. Not knowing much about Ikigamis, I was kind of hesitant, but ended up coming back and messaging the seller named Mike and come to find out he had some Sonys and some Panasonics on top of the Ikigamis and that he was looking for a RGB modded NES, which I had several of. After several days of trade discussions and possible trade discussions, I just decided to pack up two of the RGB modded NESs and to bring along a little bit of cash and we're gonna take this road trip ain't that right there you go i picked up a buddy and we started to head down back road usa so i'm about 20 minutes away from our destination don't know what i'm gonna get yet i know i'm getting a 1344q um, it had a tube replaced in 2003 panasonics two of them with dim tubes one of them with a bad cap and the power supply. I might pick up an Ikigami for 200. But I brought a second RGB modded NES because I guess the seller's brother is interested as well. So we'll see what we get here on the journey. I got the unicorn corner. <laughs> All right, it wasn't that epic, but we made it to our destination. Here's those three Panasonics, two of them with dim tubes, one with a power supply cap issue. I'm getting these three along with the 1344Q for the RGB modded NES. Here Mike had the 1344Q, the Ikigami, and a couple 1341s laid out for demonstration. Here we are discussing where to find PVMs these days. Here my cameraman Brent can't help but see what's in the box and to get his finger action in a nice NES slot. Oh yeah. Give it a little more. Oh yeah. Fire it up, man. Fire it up, man. The wisest advice of the day. And fire it up we did. Here's a look at that 1344Q through S video looking pretty dang good. Like I said, I think we'll hook this one up. You can see that the pictures, the colors are so good on this one, it's a little dim. So I don't think there's a cap bad in it. Here Mike's discussing what's wrong with the two 1341s that he's going to throw in on the deal. They'll be fun to tinker with and troubleshoot. Hopefully I'll be able to source parts if they're in need of tubes. Then that Ikigami really surprised me. I love that sound. Oh, wow. A shadow mask in something this high quality is almost like a whole different technology. The image looks like it's painted on the screen. It's impressive enough that I take two of them home. It's fin. Checking out that second Ikigami and I'm left with hard choices. Um, damn. You ain't got a choices. You don't have a, you got a video game in there? Oh, I didn't put a game in there. <laughs> I didn't have a game in there. Whoop. Um, let's check out the Sony first. Okay. 
Mike goes inside to grab a, a third Sony 1341 that he's got stashed. We're throwing all our chips in the pot at this point. Mike's inside grabbing some more PVMs out of his secret stash, and I bust out some Castlevania here on the Ikigami. Looking pretty damn sweet. I had to have them both at this point, but I still have my bluff face on. Hey, Mike, just what else do you got in that secret stash you have put up? Let me know. Just don't take any offers from these commenters. Follow me, camera guy. Mike's back with more goodies. I don't know you owe me on this. Ah, don't worry about it, Mike. We just want to see that PVM footage. If you don't want to be yeah, on it, get the lucky bare feet on camera, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I kept my word on not showing Mike's feet, but come on, this content was too good not to include. That looks like that wore your ass out, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. None of this, the the voice setting, everybody, he cut all this out. So well, not all of it. Um, Go on top of the motherfucker, man. That sound. Yeah. Uh, like everybody does, like kids these days will not know what that sound is. Mine will. <laughs> <laughs> I got a couple of them at a community college, actually. Really? Yeah, so I would call, call community colleges. There you go. There's that insider knowledge. I'm going to try to contact mine local around here, but I doubt I'm going to get any leads on anything. So the 1341 he grabbed from inside ended up having kind of a screen collapsing, like squishing in on itself artifact. I don't know exactly what the term is for it. But he said it was uh, not doing this last time he had it hooked up. So I just suspect that it needs some capacitors replaced, which is not a huge deal. It's not a deal breaker. And he gives me a discount on it. So it's all good. After some back and forth bartering, we decide on two Ikigamis, the 1344Q, three 1341s, and the three Panasonics for two RGB modded NESs, my HD retrovision component cables, and a little bit of cash. So I wanna thank Mike for having us over to demonstrate these uh, PVMs for us and giving me the opportunity to own some and work on some for my channel, thank you. So with a handshake, the deal was set and now I had to get nine monitors loaded into the vehicle. With our dinosaurs tucked in, we were off and headed home. Never turn down the opportunity to stop in small town USA and get some PP pee -pee cannon picks and to readjust your monitors. I could set this in between it. And then I don't move. I guess it doesn't matter. What are you taking pictures? Our trials and tribulations. So now what are we doing? We're gonna pull these back and set these two right where those two are. Pull them back and go right on top because it's an empty box. And we'll pull this one back. Oh yeah. We safely made it home. Nine monitors in trail. My old lady took one look at the truck and I went through hell. So I got them all crammed into my basement, little solder lab, and I'm just kind of overwhelmed. I'm gonna have to take it one at a time and try to service them, get them up and running. I found out that Panasonic's actually use a consumer tube, so it shouldn't be too hard to find tubes for that. Uh, Maybe Savon Pat got tubes for the 1341s. I'll have to do some researching and digging. But yeah, I got to get this 27 inch consumer Sony recapped and, and the hell out of my solder room so I can take a look at these. But uh, yeah, this was our little voyage to pick up these PVMs vlog style. Hope you enjoyed. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Got your ass, PVM pony.